uh, to have your video uh, switched off um, so that you're not recorded as well, then please just um, you know, switch your video off so that it's blank. Okay, so we'll make a start. First of all, uh, welcome. Um, if you're uh, new to the school, then um, what we're going to do tonight is put, um, try and give you a flavour of the sixth form and let you know what's on offer at Sandwood Bed. We're really proud of our sixth form. It's a fantastic sixth form. It's a really big sixth form, and there's lots of um, advantages that come with that. One of the advantages is that we have a really uh, extensive curriculum, and uh, Mr. Huckle will be talking to you about that um, in a little while. Oh, I did say, oh, what's it? sorry. Uh, my name's Mr. Martin, I'm the principal of Sandwood Bed. Sorry, I forgot that bit. Um, so Mr. Huckle, a bit later, is going to be talking about the curriculum we have on offer. And of course, the size of the sixth form means that we have an amazing uh, wide range of extracurricular activities as well. So whether you, know, you love art or drama or music or sport or um, film or business, we've pretty much got something for every single one of those different things that we think that you'll really enjoy in the sixth form. Uh, Duke of Edinburgh as well is really big in the sixth form. Last year we had, um, I think it was 30 people taking um, the gold and um, uh, students taking silver as well. So DV is a big part of our sixth form. And later, uh, Professor Hubbard will be talking to you about the society, which is another fantastic thing about our sixth form. Um, and uh, you'll be very interested to hear about that. So sixth form is very different from um, the, the rest of the school. We do have, a, it is a different type of relationship um, from uh, what you would expect in sort of year 11. And we do expect a bit more of you as well. So we expect you to be role models for the rest of the school. And um, we will be asking some of you to be coaching some of the other students, to be mentoring students. And also I work with a group of students who we call the Student Leadership Group, which is a group of students who help the senior leadership team run the school and all the big decisions that we make in the school, we run past that group and they help us to form the strategy of the school and they work on their action plan. So some really big opportunities and alongside that, we had some great results. So if Sir puts us on to the next slide. So, you don't need me to uh, tell you what happened in the summer. I'm sure you will all know what happened over the summer holidays, but we were really pleased that the government made that final decision um, to go with the centre assessment grades. And that, as you can see there, over a quarter of all the grades were A star to A, over half A star to B. But most importantly, what that meant was that um, students could go on to the next pathway um, of their, uh, their, their chosen pathway. So if you have a look at the next slide, please, Mr. Rao. So you can see from there, look, over the last few years, pretty consistently, we've got 94% there look, of students who are going on to uh, their university, their choice of the university. And that's you know, from York to um, Cardiff to Cambridge to Manchester, a whole array of different uh, universities. And students also leave our sixth form to go on to apprenticeships, either in the local area, or some of these days we even going on to combined apprenticeships and university courses as well. And some students leave us and go into the, the world of work and set up their own uh, companies either, or work for local companies. So whatever your chosen pathway is, whatever your hopes and dreams are, we will be working with you to make sure that you've got what you need and um, to get onto the next stage of your life. So next coming up, Mr. Huckle is going to be um, talking to you about the sixth form and then we're gonna to go to some uh, questions. So when you registered for the open evening and gave the chance to put some questions and we're gonna get different members of the leadership team to uh, talk to you about the answers to some of those questions. So I'll hand over now to Mr. Huckle. Thank you very much, Mr. Martin. Um, good evening, everybody. I'm Lee Huckle. I'm head of sixth form. And my job here this evening is to try and give you a flavour of what the sixth form has to offer, what we do, how we operate. So you can leave this presentation being a bit more fully informed. 
of, of what we do and how we do it. So we'll begin with looking at the options post 16. Now it's important that you're all aware that there are different options here. <clears throat> one of them is Samuel Whitbread Sixth Form. So one of the routes after year 11 is to join our sixth form here at Samuel Whitbread. The other options are college. So locally here we have North Hearts College and we have Bedford College. So you can put applications in there as well. And also the apprenticeship route. And nowadays there's a lot more apprenticeships available. A little bit tricky at the moment with COVID-19. So we're watching the situation very closely with that. So whichever route you take post 16, the legal requirement is that you have to be in 20 hours of full time education or training per week. Now, if you do join the sixth form and you're successful in getting in, that is exactly what you'll be doing. You'll actually be doing over 20 hours of work every week. Now, there are uh, there is another route, which is school leavers programs. So if you want to explore the school leaver programs, as well as college and apprenticeships, please do liaise with the careers advice team here at Samuel Whitbread. Now, if you're from another school, your school should have a careers advice and guidance team as well. So please do communicate with them to get that advice and guidance that you need. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Rout. next slide. OK, so our overriding entry requirements and then our course requirements. So as Mr. Martin said, we have a wide range of courses. We have 34 courses on offer in total, and that's a combination of A levels, level three B tech qualifications and level three applied, all level three. Now, to enter the sixth form, there's one main hurdle that you need to overcome, and that is that you need to achieve five grade fives minimum for entry onto all of the A-level courses. Now, if you wanna do a combination of A-levels, BTEC and applied, again, you need to get those five grade fives to get onto the A-level elements. If you're looking at BTECs and applied level three courses, then slightly lower requirement of six grade four minimum. And what I'll now talk through with you is each, not each individual subject, but that every subject does have its own individual requirements. And that you'll be able to see on page eight and nine of the handbook. So here is a, a screenshot of part of the handbook. And as you'll see, each course has their own area. It has an average point score requirement, which is basically the average of your GCSE grades. So you can see there, for example, business studies, needs a 4.2 average point score. But a course like business studies also needs a grade five in GCSE maths, a grade five in GCSE language or literature. And if you study business studies, you need a grade five in business. So as you can see, each course has its own individual requirements that you must meet. What you'll also find on the website is the subject prospectus. And it's a, it's a pretty hefty booklet. Um, thank goodness we're not printing them this year. Every course has its own individual page. And each of those course pages goes through the contents and aims, the key features of each course. And then looking ahead, what is the career progression, career considerations for each of the different individual courses that we offer? and all of that can be accessed on our website. <clears throat> okay, now Mr. Martin said at the, the very start about the wide range of extracurricular and enrichment opportunities we offer in the sixth form at Samuel Whitbread. And if I think back to the previous Ofsted inspection that we had a few years ago, it really was one of the areas that the Ofsted inspection team praised highly in our sixth form. So each of these images hints at one of those enrichments. Um, first of all, and we want to get this up and running next year, was the university mock trials. You can see that top left, where we took a group of 10 students to the University of Cambridge. We were up against 20 other private independent schools, um, totally student led. Um, I just basically took them there and they delivered the speeches, they planned it, they delivered and they won. 
Um, now, it's not run for the last couple of years. It is starting again next year, COVID pending, and it will be something that's on offer. Um, top middle is our Scooby racing car team, and they've had some great success. Um, every year, there's a group of students, engineering students and non-engineering as well, who, who build this racing car every single year, and they race uh, competitions and are often successful. Top right is our sixth form sister school. We have a sister school called the Methodist Junior High School in Ghana, and we fundraise every year for those. Again, unfortunately this year, we haven't been able to do so due to COVID, but that is a group of enrichment students who help lead that link with the school in Ghana. Mr. Martin referred to the Duke of Edinburgh at the start, that's that bottom image. Um, great success in, in bronze, silver and gold, um, both prior to sixth form and in the sixth form. It's a great enrichment and it also carries University UCAS points as well. And at the bottom right is the some lovely pictures, I'm afraid, I'm sorry to spoil it with me on the end there, um, of the society, which Professor Hubbard will be talking through a bit later. And bringing all that together, We've got our equality and diversity group of students and staff where we focus rigorously on equality and diversity, not just in the sixth form, but also in Samuel Whitbread as a whole. Thank you, Mr. Rowe. And, and then we have our three big and extremely successful sports academies. And it really is something to boast about here. We have the Northampton Saints Rug, let me get my words right, the Northampton Saints Rugby Development Course. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, the Whitbread Netball Academy, who are partnered with Saracens Mavericks, and also the Samuel Whitbread Football Academy. Great successes there. Um, National Cup winners with the Northampton Saints Rugby Development Course. If you want, want to find out more information and look at the superb videos that have been produced for each of these sports academies, please do go to the website. There is a link there, but you'll have the link on the website and on the presentation to click on to view those in more detail. OK, so the transition. So let's say you've applied to the sixth form um, and you've got a place. We need to think about the transition from GCSE to level three study with us. And it is a big jump. Many people say the jump from GCSE to sixth form study is a much harder jump than it is from sixth form study to degree level. So we offer a variety of support packages in the sixth form to assist students through this transition. So general interventions like extra one-to-one -one sessions, lunchtime sessions, after-school sessions, all run in individual departments. We've got a, a dedicated careers advice and guidance team with a, a coordinator who's a member of the senior leadership team. It's a, there's an independent careers advice service called 4YP UK, and they are independent from the school, and they advise and guide, as I say, independent of us. And those four letters at the end, PESO, is Pastoral and Academic Support Officer. We have a, a dedicated PESO for the sixth form team, which is Mrs. Bonham. Um, she's been in the sixth form as long as me. Um, she is absolutely fantastic. And she is the go-to person if any students need pastoral support or just those general day-to-day -day chats to get them through the day. Now, Mrs. Bonham, and also Mrs. Hode and Mr. Tonkin and myself can refer to counselling services as well. We have in-school counsellors that we can access to assist students through the more difficult times. We also offer peer mentoring, and this is on three different levels. Year 13s, mentoring year 13s, year 13s, mentoring year 12s, and also sixth form students, mentoring students in years 9, 10 and 11. And that's something that we're really proud of here. And that works extremely well. The sixth formers feel they can give something back to the lower years in our community. And then of course, if any of you have had previous special educational needs and learning support requirements at your at either Samuel Whitbread or, or the school you're currently studying at, 
that will continue here at Samuel Whitbread in the sixth form. Slightly different formats in, with regards to in-class support. We try and make you become more independent, but the support and guidance is still there. Right, so the very important application process. So what I would like you to do is not make any final decisions this evening. Please do have a look on our website, all the videos, all the course pages are out there. Discuss your choices with your family, whoever's at home with you. Discuss them with your teachers in school. That is vitally important because they've got a lot of advice and guidance to give you. And also more importantly, really the course leaders. They're the ones that really know the courses inside out. So speak to those teachers. But a bit more difficult, hang on Mr. Rao, don't skip forward yet, he's gone backwards. That's better. So speak to the students. Now, that's more difficult in this current situation due to COVID, but we can arrange some online meetings through our secure network in school where you can talk to the students. Now, what we've done for you, which I'll refer to later, is almost every department has students on a recording who you can hear from on the department pages. So really think about your future here. Think beyond the sixth form. What do you want to do later on in life? What job, what university degree course, what apprenticeship? And use those decisions to inform your choices of courses going into the sixth form. That's vitally important. Deadline for application um, is Monday, the 25th of January next year. We've gone totally online this year, so we're not handling any paper at all, and it's going to make it much more efficient. And it's an online Google form application form this year. Thank you, Mr. Rao. OK, so we'll hand over now to relevant staff regarding the questions that you've you've set to us before this meeting took place. So I'll hand over to the individual staff now. Good evening, everyone. Um, looking at these questions, we've got what pastoral support is available for students in sixth form. So uh, Ms. Huggle just mentioned uh, Claire Bonham as our pastoral support officer, uh, who's been doing the job for 15 years now. Um, and she will be with myself and Mrs. Hode, um, who will sit in the one office, uh, which we like to think is an open door policy where students can come and access the support they need. So Mrs. Bonham will be that person as a first support of call. Of course, there's tutors as well, and we do have a programme here that, although the tutors will support academically, it's also looking at the well-being of the students as well. Um, and we do find, I think, with sixth form students, the jump, as Mr Huckle said, to transition, if you like, from year 11 up to year 12, it will be organisation, it will be managing time, and that will be uh, a new challenge for them to overcome, and that's where I think the support will be needed. Um, I should also say that if you have any concerns here, uh, if you are a student or parent, and you have, uh, you'd like to speak with us before September when the students start, would happily um, have some communication. We do meet with the year 11 team and do a handover. So we go through virtually every single year 11 student who's applied uh, to make sure that we have all the knowledge and all the information we need to support them. Um, for the maximum intake uh, for sixth form, we, we don't have a maximum number, we don't cap it. We encourage and we would like as many applicants as possible. Um, what we do have is certain courses, something like engineering, where there'd be technical resources, um, and that may bring a cap in based on how many we can have in a class size, but we'll endeavour to try and put on more classes where we can. Um, so we certainly don't want to be capping, and uh, we have not yet hit a maximum intake, and we don't foresee that being the case this year. We think we're going to get more and more, and we look forward to seeing you all then, so thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm Richard Candlin, uh, and uh, one of my jobs here is I want to try and be able to get as many sixth formers into school by uh, looking to work with different people to get uh, the school transport right up on for your individual son or daughter. Now, over the past uh, of six years now, uh, we've seen a, a growing number of individuals who are about to join us from uh, different actual schools and out of our actual catchment area. So uh, we Offer now different actual minibus routes that are about to pick up are from Luton, uh, Bedford, uh, Leighton Buzzard, and over on the east up onto Sandy and up onto Biggles Way as well. So uh, we want to try and support every pupil to be able to come here to be able to in, 
enjoy everything that uh, we can be able to offer here at uh, Brick Bread. Okay, so uh, we also be able to work with uh, as local um, authority to try and be able to get individual places on those individual buses up on for our individual uh, uh, students. And we also try and be able to work with uh, local bus companies to alter their individual routes in order to be able to get everyone to be able to come here as, uh, as each year it keeps on looking to be able to grow. Okay, if you have any individual questions about uh, the, uh, the, uh, the school bursary that uh, you could be able to use to be able to spend on uh, your individual transport uh, needs, uh, you can just be able to email me, email's over here on the left, and then I'll get back to you with your individual answers. Thank you very much, take care. Hi, good evening. Um, so I'm currently the head of year 12, I'll be the head of year 13 next September. Um, so we get a lot of questions about dress code. We have a professional dress code here at Sammy Wet Bread. And the best way to think about it is what you would be expected to wear in a workplace. Um, so for example, some students wear smart polo shirts and chino trousers. Um, it's not compulsory to have suits and ties as it is in, in, in many workplaces now, but we do expect smart shoes rather than trainers to be worn with normal outfits. Um, if students are doing practical sport, many of our sports students purchase the Samuel Whitbread branded PE kit and they're very proud to wear it. Um, they are obviously permitted to wear trainers with that. Lots of information about the Samuel Whitbread um, PE kit and more information about our professional dress code is on the sick form part of the website so do explore that. Um, the next question I've been asked to do this evening is a typical day uh, for students in our sick form and I would say there's probably not a, a typical day. I'll run through some of the timings. Our registration bell rings at 8.15 so that you're at tutor time starting at 8.20 every morning. Uh, we have five lessons on a normal day, each are an hour long. We have break times and lunch time as well. We can have sixth period timetabled for some of you, some subjects timetable in sixth period. Um, that runs after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Some of you will also need to use period six for training, for rugby, netball, football or other sports. And sometimes matches are held after school. Um, most of our students do three subjects, some do four. Um, if you do four subjects, you'd have 36 timetabled hours across the potential total of 50. We also add prep time and study time to your timetable to keep you plenty busy with the work that you'll be doing. There will be occasions where you do have more free time than you would do on your year 11 timetable that you have at the moment. Um, you are allowed to leave site after break time and after lunch. So that's an exciting bit of freedom that our sick form students enjoy. A little bit more freedom than in year 11. OK, thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. My name's Professor Lee Hubbard and I'm the head of academia for the sixth form. My role is to look after you um, as high attaining students and to get the very best out of you when you join the sixth form. Our approach at Samuel Whitbread is, is very different to other schools. Uh, my appointment and my position is quite unique within the county to have someone to particularly look after your needs and to hopefully get you to aspire to where you want to go. We do this really through society and I'll talk a little bit about the society. How can you join it? Well, as a member of the sixth form, anyone could join society. It's about you trying to better yourselves within the sixth form. The society itself is run by students. I only guide students in where they want to go, but we offer an awful lot of um, opportunities for you. So for example, we run a full tutorial program for sixth form students, very similar to what you face at university. So you can get used to what you're gonna face at some of the top universities. We also offer a lecture series with guest speakers. Obviously in the current climate, we haven't had too many guest speakers in, but we offer those to students as well as a number of external competitions. So if you wish to challenge yourself further above your A-levels, the society is the place to go. Thank you very much. Okay, and back to me. Um, one question that I will answer here is, will there be any changes of the entry requirements for sixth form due to COVID-19? So the first of all, the simple answer is no, there won't be at this point in time. Our entry requirements that I referred back to at the start do still stand, 
but we have built in flexibility in our entry requirements for each of the courses as well. So have a look at those individual requirements for each course because you will see they do vary. But we are aware that things can change. We are aware that um, national policies can change very, very quickly. So we are understanding if this does happen and if changes do happen, we will be understanding of the situation and we will bring in more flexibility if we need to do so at the time. Thank you, Mr. Rao. Okay, so to round things off a little bit here, then I want to refer you to the website and some key areas on our website, because as, as we know, everything is virtual this year. So the Sixth Form Virtual Open Evening page, the tab that you'll see down the right hand side of the Sixth Form web page, um, links you to some key areas. Um, first of all is the Sixth Form Handbook, that's on there, the Sixth Form Subject Prospectus. Also have a look at our alumni page. Um, some videos have been put together of previous students in our sixth form and where they've ended up and where they are today. And they're a good look and we're very proud of where many of our sixth form students have ended up. Um, and there's individual pages for the society, the enrichment, the, the 16 to 19 bursary fund and so on. And the sixth form courses page as well is gonna be of vital importance to all of you. Because before you put in an application, and you can see the application admissions tab there, you do need to explore the courses that are of interest to you. And also, you, you've met with tutors this afternoon, those students who are at Samuel Whitbread. What are your predicted grades looking like? What courses do you think you'll be able to access alongside the interests and ambitions that you have? So do delve into that. Also, just to make you aware, Students at Samuel Whitbread, you have an internal application form. Students at another school, you need to complete the external student application form. They're almost identical, but there's a slight difference in a couple of the questions there. And the curriculum pages. This is just a snapshot of what they look like. So for example, computer science, there will be a presentation that's been recorded by one of the subject leaders of computer science. And then, as I say, a lot of departments do have videos of students where the students are talking through the courses that they are currently studying. Now, if we had the luxury of, of doing our normal setup here, we'll be in the main hall, you'll be able to talk to the students and talk to the staff. And the feedback that we get every year, the most positive is when the students and parents hear from the students who are currently studying the courses. So please do listen to them. Um, and they give some very important information. Thank you, Mr. Rout, lovely. So some contact details then. Again, these are all on the applications and admissions part of the website. Um, so we've got a main six form admissions email address, which will go to Ms. Butler, Ms. Butler's individual email address as well and obviously the main school website. If you want to get more of a flavour of the sixth form, please do request to access the SWA sixth form Facebook page. We're not quite up to scratch on Twitter yet. That's one of my next missions, um, but do have a look on there. Now, please stay if you wish to watch the video, but I'm going to hand back to Mr. Martin for some final comments. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much for joining us uh, this evening. I hope that that's given you an idea of what we offer at the sixth form. As um, Mr. Huckle said, we've got loads of information on the website. Um, once we decided we were going to move online this year, like many other schools, we started uploading and building that website and we built it around a similar type of idea to what many, many of the uh, universities do for their virtual open evenings as well. So there's lots of um, information about all the courses like Mr Huckles just said and about the society like Professor Hubbard said and like all the extracurricular so please check that out we're going to finish with a video and this video has been made by three of our students uh, Tabitha, Aisha and Kaylin um, they've made it um, I think you're going to be really impressed three of our three film students made it themselves and it just gives you a flavour of the sixth form but also gives you a flavour of what some of our students um, can produce. These students have actually created 
um, some films for loads of our local um, lower schools because obviously they can't have open days either. So many of the local lower schools have um, used their skills to make them some videos as well. So we're really pleased with them. Now, when we ran it a bit earlier, um, it's not fantastic through the Zoom um, platform. Uh, we think it should look pretty good, but it is on the website, so you can have a look on the website. So we're going to go over to now to a video, and thank you very much for joining us evening. Any more questions, please contact us. Any of us on those, those email addresses for more information, we'll be happy to get that. Thank you very much. Samuel Whitbread, we offer 34 courses to students in year 12 and 13. This video will not only showcase those options to you, but also show you what our sixth form has to offer in terms of facilities, next steps and enrichment. Please enjoy. In business, we are offered great resources as well as quality teaching. I enjoy learning about marketing as I'd like to pursue this as a career and I think it would really help with my future. I love sociology because I think it's a really interesting lesson. It's interesting to learn about all the different aspects of society, interesting to learn about how scientists can investigate human behaviour, and I think the lessons themselves are really engaging. So what I find fascinating about psychology is the insight it provides about the human mind, but also external factors such as history. As a math student, I enjoy the challenging aspect of my subject. It's taught me how to problem solve and be really useful for the future. Taking biology is both challenging but very interesting. The course is quite detailed, but I like learning about human biology and evolution. A-level art is a fantastic delve into mixed media and a variety of techniques. Uh, we study a plethora of accomplished artists and a range of breeds and topics. Similarly, graphic communications develops a great skill of design skills and the ability to respond to a brief. In A-level English, we learn so much about written, spoken and online texts. Um, personally, I love exploring the minds of prestigious authors and writing my own pieces of non-fiction and fiction for my coursework. I enjoy engineering as it's quite a broad subject. We can go into maths, science and product design areas. In engineering, we use a variety of different uh, resources to explore resistance and tax nature of different materials. I really enjoy the practical element of the course and as well. In A-level film, we really focus on the subtleties of filmmaking techniques, including the form of cinema, narratives and ideology. We study everything from blockbuster films to independent and indie genres, however my favourite part of the course has got to be creating my own short film. A-level geography really cultivates my interest because there's lots of interesting topics. I like how it combines physical and human geography into one and you can study so many different aspects that do link in with other courses as well. And the subject teachers are really really nice and really encouraging. Sammy Woodrow works closely with individuals and has lots of technology, equipment and space for us to use. Taking music has allowed me to cultivate my passion and express my musical ability. Health and social care has allowed me to be independent through coursework, which I enjoy and benefit from. Um, but I also love the group work aspects when we learn about human lifespan and development in class. In computer science, we learn everything from ethics involved to how processes work. The course covers a wider range of essential topics and allows me to study independently using skills learning lessons. So I find modern foreign languages particularly useful at A-level because it expands and develops on what I learn in English and in other subjects. Um, talking about the culture of other countries, you look particularly at how they've developed and sort of how they are now and it really gives you an insight into other cultures and other people. I enjoy A-level PE because it helps me understand human exercise in the body and I do the netball course so the exercise physiology helps improve my game. We offer a wide range of enrichment opportunities that relate to our subjects and our faculties. We have a fantastic reputation for sport, including our academies in rugby, netball and football. Our DOV programme is just as popular and there's an opportunity for you to take your gold award during six months. While with us, you could use your study time to complete MOOCs, 
massive open online courses. Some of you will be eligible to undertake an extended project qualification, an independent research qualification which will better develop your study skills. We have an entire block dedicated to the sick form and their pastoral care, including large, spacious study rooms and their own cafe. If you want to be part of a community that cares, nurtures and inspires you to succeed, win and achieve, then the Samuel Whitbread Sick Form is the place for you to be. Thank you for your interest in Samuel Whitbread Academy Sixth Form. We hope to see you very soon.